Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are supposed to use the ruler that is provided on our mathematics chart to measure the length and width of each rectangle to the nearest centimeter. And as you can tell, there are actually some measurements already there. So using the ruler works really well if you're taking a paper test. But if you are taking a test on the screen, it doesn't do any good because we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can shrink, we can grow. Uh, any of these objects and so I actually just printed these out and measured them and put these measurements out here for you. Now we've got two rectangles. You'll notice this rectangle on the right looks like a normal rectangle and so we've got a length and width of six centimeters and two centimeters because they gave us that measurement right there. But take a look at this square right here. Remember all squares are rectangles because rectangles are simply parallelograms that have four right angles. And so this has got four right angles. It just also happens to have four sides that are the same length. Each side is the same length, so I don't need to put three centimeters all the way around. I can if that makes me feel better, but that's really just how they're going to note it for you, is they'll just give you one side, and they're going to assume that you know that a square has all four sides equal. Same with this rectangle. The top is going to be the same as the bottom. And the two sides are going to be the same. They're not going to necessarily give you, if they ever give you side lengths, they're not going to give you all four. They just give you two. So we need to find the difference. And if we get stuck on what difference means, take a look at all of these answers, F, G, H, and J. The difference... And it says because 6 minus 3 equals 3, because 8 minus 6 equals 2, 16 minus 12 equals 4. So if we ever get stuck, take a look at what each of these answers give us as the difference. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. And so even if you're a little bit stuck on that, they're going to give you enough clues in the four answer selections to really figure out. So we're, we're subtracting these two. And so obviously we're going to need to put the biggest one first. So the only thing we're really missing is the perimeter. We've got the sides. We know that the square is 3 centimeters all the way around. Uh, we know that the uh, rectangle has a length and width of 2 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Now, the only tricky part, if we're going to call it tricky, is we might get confused with area and perimeter. So remember, area is on the inside. So we're not looking for the area that's on the inside. That's how much space is inside of a shape. The perimeter is on the outside. And when I'm looking at the word perimeter, I'm always thinking of that word rim that's sitting in the middle of the word perimeter. And I think of like a basketball rim and how there's really not, we're not looking at the inside, we're looking at the the rim outside of that basketball rim. That's what that basketball rim is. So let's see what we have on our square. So the perimeter of a square, I'm going to put a P, a little S, is really four times the side. And so the side is going to be three. So we use parentheses to show multiplication there. So that's really going to be 12 centimeters. And then we've got the perimeter of our rectangle. That's a little bit different. Well, you're going to see there's a double the length and double the width. And so we will say our length is 6. So we're going to say 2 times 6. And then we're going to add the width twice. That's going to be 2 times 2. So that's quite a bit we have to do. 2 times 6 is going to be 12. And then 2 times 2, that's going to be 4. So put those together, you get 16. And so they don't tell us which one to go first. We just have to know the bigger one goes first. So it's 16 minus 12. And our answer here is H4.